still, if we look at our our original circuit we started with, that was taken from this kind of microcontroller port, and I copied some parts of the circuit diagram. So there is a supply of five volts in here, and then they have here also the indicator light we discussed earlier with an LED. So there is a resistor and an LED. So you get there's an indicator light for the five volts. Then there is an capacitance, another capacitance, and then there is an component, which is a voltage regulator. And out of that, you get a line where there is a capacitance, another capacitance, and the 3.3 volts. So this is a 3.3 volt voltage regulator. And uh, then if we look at the circuit, yep. So this is the circuit with the voltage regulator in here. So I have a voltage in goes to an input of a voltage regulator and then there is a voltage out goes to the five volts there is one diode in here and then there is a capacitance in here a capacitance in here they have written here capacitance then microfarad 25 volts so the maximum voltage peaks whatever in the voltage in is 25 volts DC direct current. And then on the capacitance out here, there is no requirement for the voltage. So because this is always the output is the 3.3 volts or 5 volts, depending on what's the regulator. And then the task here is that you have a look on the data sheet. that one. And then the regulator looks like this. If we make a test circuit on the breadboard, the regulator would look like this and we will just stick the regulator in the board. In the microcontroller board, the regulators typically look like that one or that one. So there are three pins. And then this one is for uh, screwing here and heat sink. So it is dissipating heat. And on a, this is soldered in a circuit board, soldered from here, three pins. And this is for removing the heat. So on the circuit board, there will be an area of copper. And this is soldered into that one. And then the heat is removed through this copper area in here. Then they give a maximum output current, 800 milliampere. And then there are, it is available in fixed output voltage values. 1.2, 1.8, 2.5, 3.3, 5 volts. So different versions of this one, and so on. And we were in, in here. So then if you look at the data sheet, there is some recommendation that you need to have a capacitance in here and you need to have a capacitance here in the output. So you need to write down what is the maximum input voltage, maximum, uh, what is the output voltage exactly of this type. What is the dropout voltage with as low input voltage as possible. So these are in English in here, the same questions. 
So two types, the one, which is the number 50, that's for five volts, and with 33, which is for 3.3 volts. And then you need to look at these values. And then one detail about these capacitors, the capacitor here, the capacitor here. If you look at the original uh, circuit diagram, the detail in here. So they have got a one microfarad capacitance in here and 100 nanofarad capacitance in here. These are parallel. Why they put two capacitors in parallel? That's because of the different kind of properties of different technology capacitors. So this could be a ceramic capacitor with the capacitance of 100 nanofarads. It's very good for the uh, very high frequencies. So if there is any disturbance in here, it will take off that disturbance, the voltage peak out of the voltage in. And then this micro, then uh, one microfarad capacitance here is more or less for if there is an immediate requirement for a higher current, it will take the current out of this capacitance if the supply is not able to provide it. And it is about the same on the other side as well. There is a 100 nanofarad and one microfarad capacitance here. The voltage peaks are actually coming from that circuit which is in 3.3 volts. And the 3.3 volts is used for supplying this microcontroller. And any microcontroller is taking a current in peaks. So whenever in the inside logic of the microcontroller, the thousands of uh, field effect transistors there in that silicon chip of the microcontroller, when those are changing the state, the microcontroller is taking current. So the microcontroller is clocked with a certain clock frequency Actually, there is a crystal here for providing the clock frequency. And then the, the, all the transistors, transistors there are ticking with the same frequency. So the microcontroller is taking the current in peaks. And when it's taking the current in the peak, it is taking the current from this capacitor, capacitance, this capacitance, and then also from the voltage supply. But these capacitances are important. Those supply the peaks the microcontroller is taking. But anyway, then you need to find out what does the data sheet say about the typical technical values for a voltage regulator. 